So maybe like a week or two ago, I made a community post where I asked you all to like, just list a bunch of villains that I can make another one of these types of videos with. You know, the horror villains I can be and all that. But that's pretty much all I have in terms of an intro. So uh, yeah, yeah, you know what you came here for. You know what you clicked on. Like, I don't know why you would even be here. So first up, recommended by Grandson, is the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Now, I am well aware that the director or whoever made Jeepers Creepers is a, a criminal of epic proportions so it does raise the question of if it's morally correct for people to like cover anything related to this movie bro i don't know the intricate details but i did get a quick summary and i quickly came to the conclusion that that brother should have gotten way more time in the slammer hell keep them but then again it's like if i stop interacting with things because there's some crazy crime some some real shady stuff happening behind them bro i would quickly run out of stuff to watch eat play real quick i'm saying like bro it's wacky out here bro i don't, I don't know what to tell you off rip we're gonna have to break this one in two because the situations in both movies are wildly different with various implications and i know there's other movies bro but they are so garbage i, I don't know what's possessing these people to make these movies anymore but we we're good you can stop we're fine. So if you're unfamiliar with the creeper, basically it's about this spooky parasite demon that awakens from hibernation every 23 years to eat people or make a house out of their body parts, whichever he chooses, bro. I don't know what he'd be on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put movie one creeper at F tier. Real beatable, bro. Th that's 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 a lick. That's light work. The movie follows these two siblings on the road right here, and now now they're talking, they're chill until this giant piece of rusted metal going 200 on the 80 starts honking its horn, damn near running them off the road. They're like, whoa, stop, please stop. And it's the creeper. Bro is on his way to throw away some bodies and stuff like that regular day and luckily he passes them and goes about his way problem arises when they pass him at his stop they basically see him throwing bodies down a tube and for some unfathomable reason they choose to investigate this now granted they don't know that there are there are bodies that he's throwing down there right they don't know they don't know thing is they go over to the premises and start investigating when the creeper leaves and they don't just investigate the brother begs his sister to hold him by his legs so that he can get a good look down the tube what, what the hell? I, I know the sister didn't want to, but I think it was her car. I think she was driving. If you're that worried about what buddy has going on over there, you know you know where the spot is. Just call the cops and keep it pushing. But no, bro falls down the tube and becomes marked for death by this winged demon. Yeah, hell no. I don't care. I don't care. I, I simply wouldn't be. <laughs> I, no rational person would be in that situation, bro. The, the creeper is not, is not coming for me. He's not coming for you because you're not dumb enough to do that. I refuse to believe you're dumb enough to do that. You're not. But in the second movie's case, bro is hunting a, a, a school bus full of high schoolers. Now I haven't listed off any traits of the creeper because bro is so damn picky with who he chooses to eat that it's a toss up to see if you can even get into a fight with him to begin with. Like look at the way he picks his victims off this bus. Idea. What if instead of, what if instead of Jeepers Creepers, we called it Freaky Creepers? That's gotta be the name of something unholy already, bro. Let's dead that right there. Let's end that. But I guess he picks his victims based on a certain type of fear that they emit that would taste good to him. All I can really say in that regard is like, you probably wouldn't be looking for me, bro, if I'm being honest with you. I, I do this thing where I tend to underreact in serious situations. I mean, like something crazy could be happening right in front of me and I and I just go straight unresponsive. Like it's not even happening. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is, bro. It's, it's, a, it's really a gamble. Now, maybe it's unresolved mental issues that I will bottle up and I will be taking out on my children in a decade. So maybe that's the cause, I don't know, man. Listen, bro, I'm damaged goods. I'm damaged goods. And I've made my peace with that. Even if bro picks me for the feeding, I see 17 other bodies on this bus that I am throwing in his way. You're not gonna get me with this one. You're not getting me freaked the creepy. I'm not going. No, I'm not going. I'm gonna give him a cool C tier final answer. Yeah. From Lil Shep, we got Nemesis from the Resident Evil series. Now this right here is a real killer, a real demon right here, bro. You know, the last video I focused primarily on slashers and stuff like that, and I absolutely drug a lot of them through the mud. Brother, these people have like eight movies. Scream, Ghostface is still getting movies to this day. You're not gonna convince me that he's an actual good, competent killer when freaking Sidney Prescott is still alive and thriving, bro. That's not happening. I mean, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason, they die like at the end of every single movie. They don't have that conviction. They don't have that power. They don't have that speed. I mean, brother, they be walking. Nemesis gets the job and he does not stop until it is done, brother. Look at this clip that he got on me a few years ago. No way, bro. Bro, that's that dog in him. All right, for the uninitiated, Nemesis is like the pinnacle of stalker enemies in horror games. Stalkers being like big guys that like follow you around a house or a town, whatever. Really annoying, really scary. Now, Nemesis is like eight feet tall, can run a five second mile, is impervious to bullets and other standard artillery. He also has tentacles that will drag you to hell if need be. Do not let the digital artists catch you in this position they will do you terrible. Anything that can do real damage to him is gonna yield bad results. If you hit him real hard with like a grenade, maybe a rocket or something, he'll just like take a knee for like two minutes and then he's right back up and he's right back at it. And if by some miracle you do real major damage to him, guess what? This trash bag garb that he has on is a damn inhibitor field, meaning 
He'll literally turn into a dog. And I haven't mentioned the fact that he knows where you are at all times. Bro is a cybernetic zombie hybrid. He was built for this. He has a flamethrower, a rocket launcher that he is liable to get airdropped at any time because apparently he has like office support on deck at all times. And that dog isn't the only form that he can turn into. He gets worse and worse as the game goes. Like there is simply too much going on here. What am I supposed to do? He is so dangerous that the main character of his own video game shouldn't have, shouldn't have made it. She should have died. And I don't know, bro. If he gets bored, he'll just start infecting people with the damn t virus whatever whatever virus it is g a b c d i don't know which means while he's breaking down windows and, and walls and stuff trying to hunt you down he's also infecting the city so which means even if you beat him he, the, the city is just gonna get nuked by the government because like why <laughs> lady d from resident evil village by strongest avenger yeah yeah i can i can totally beat her well you meant to fight go ahead and bring in the grudge this one was recommended by maurice voices now i've never seen the grudge movie before but this this was damn near inescapable in the 2000s i can't count the amount of tv shows movies people that would casually reference this movie series i think the only reason it's not referenced as much today is because the majority of people don't use vhs players anymore it's just not in your face like it used to be so i know the basics of the story right i, I don't need to do research but i gotta go ahead and put the grudge at f tier because i'm just never getting into that situation like like there are too many debuffs that i would have to give myself to be caught lacking by this persona for TV demon. Who the hell owns a VCR anymore? The Grudge is that one series where you put the tape in the player and then you have like seven days to live. You know, I would love to have a VCR though, believe me. I, I literally lost mine some years back. How did I lose a, a steel tablet, you ask? I don't know. If I knew, I would go find it instead of making this goofy video. Matter of fact, vibe check right here, right now. What movie is on this tape? I'm not gonna say it. Anyone that says the wrong answer, we're on our way. Your time is over. Even if I did have a functioning VHS player and peruse some random shop that just happened to contain a tape with a, a vengeful spirit on it, I wouldn't buy it, let alone watch it. I think it's known in the universe that the tape is out there. I think in the movie, there are literally people around the main character telling her not to watch the tape because it will knock you off in seven days. And nah, bro, now my interest is peaked. Let me go and let me go like watch a plot synopsis like real quick and then get right back to it. Guess who made an oopsie? Guess who made an oopsie? Oh, no. <laughs> I know some of you were looking at me crazy just now. My fault, my fault, my fault. So if you don't understand what's going on, I mixed up the grudge with the ring. But hear me, but hear me out, hear me out. Both movies are about evil white spirits with black hair that leave marks on their targets. I was wrong. I was wrong. It does not change the fact that I am absolutely dogging the ring universe. I'm simply not falling for it, bro. I'm not, no rational person is actually gonna watch that tape. They would have to put the ring tape in a, in a Finding Nemo box, the label and everything. You know what, bro? I wanna put in F tier. I really do. But if they do pull the, the, the tape switch technique, I'm getting cooked. You know what? Screw it. Since I already have another tab open, let me just, let me just see what the, let, let me just see how the ghost is beaten. Okay, it seems you have to like throw her down a well. Brother, I am not Amish. I don't think I've ever seen a well in my entire life. You could literally tell me that wells only exist in fictional stories and I am liable to believe you because how would I know? I've never seen a well before. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ring at C tier. I'll be fair this time around. I'll be fair. Yeah. Now we got Jack Knight with a damn English essay of a suggestion. Brother, I meant one. You're damn right I'm gonna use this list for multiple videos. Or I would if you uh... Hit that like button for me. <laughs> I appreciate this list though. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a uh, Rose Armitage. The psycho from Get Out that eats Fruit Loops individually and sips the milk after. Some people really, really have no limits, bro. You see, this is what happens when crisis in your life. This is what happens when you're just left to your own devices, right? This is what happens when you have no morals, no code. Whoever wrote this scene, made it happen. Whoever was in charge of it, bro, come to the street. But for real, like, if you've been watching my videos for a minute, you know I got a little bit of a pattern. Yeah, X-Men 97 has done irreparable damage to my psyche, bro. I mean, southern accents like this has nothing to do with rose it's just like louisiana might be the move but you know rose isn't really like my vibe she's not luring me to that house to get that surgery ah uh, she's not luring me there bro she's not luring me though and, and then you have to stay there as all these weird people are like surrounding you like i'm not letting that guy run at me in the middle of the night and then staying there the next day he was worried about his phone being charged like bro no i'm straight she's not luring me anywhere bro she's not okay for giggles right let's just say she was played by I don't know, 2012 Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, that changes everything. I'm gonna go ahead and give them like a B tier, B tier, yeah? What, bro, I can't give her A or S tier, bro. I, I literally had to alter her lore for this one. They needed me. They needed my help. Pumpkinhead from That Boy. Pumpkinhead is a bit of a trial. If you've never seen the Pumpkinhead movies, I highly recommend the first two of them. I haven't seen the others. I, I can't say whether they're good or bad or not. I've, I just, I've never seen them before. I've, li I've literally pumpkin head is another vengeful spirit that gets activated to take revenge on whoever the wronged party deems worthy uh, basically he's a demonic hitman in the first movie this guy's kid got absolutely 
wiped out by a bike. I understood the father's pain, but going to the evil witch that lives in the swamps to summon Pumpkinhead is pretty crazy, not gonna lie to you, bro. And I know he was moving crazy because the second that he summons Pumpkinhead, he immediately regrets it. For one, the whole summoning process is extremely painful. And then, summoning Pumpkinhead also kind of puts the dead victim into, into the body of Pumpkinhead and pumps them full of, like, demonic rage. The little kid that was murdered was probably, he was probably vibing at a Juice World concert just to be soul bonded to a musty demonic corpse and forced to hunt down his killers. It's a really good movie, I gotta rewatch it. But the problem with Pumpkinhead is, despite looking like a roided up xenomorph, that brother cannot fight. I forget how he died in the first movie, but in the second one, he literally dies from a firing squad. I mean, hell, like, bro, by the end of the second movie, the objective was to save Pumpkinhead because people started to realize whose spirit was inside the body. Yeah, Pumpkinhead too had me, had me really sad. And then Pumpkinhead as a killer is pretty slow, very hard to hide because he's, he's up there with LeBron James, just not the spirit of revenge that I would want if I needed one. If you have automatic weapons on you, you're probably good. And common sense because most of the people I remember him fighting were like, um, farmers, you know, just people, unsuspecting people just like chilling and then you know, all of a sudden here he comes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they weren't prepared. They, they weren't ready. I, ju I just can't imagine him being that much of an issue unless there's some sort of like superpowers I'm forgetting about. But if he gets his hands on you, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're, you're, you're out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a C tier, C tier. I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna put this one in the video because I can't find the person that recommended it, bro. I, I keep going up and down the list. I'm looking for somebody to recommend it, but I can't, I can't find it right. So this one's gonna be it. Now I know I covered him at the end of the last video, but like that was really just a joke. I didn't really go in depth on that one, right? So it is a toss up between S tier and just straight garbage, bro. Like, un, un, like straight up, like unrateable, like, cause we all know who Pennywise is, right? The darn clown that escaped the circus that was hunting the kids. But I say he's F tier. Totally beatable. Because say, say, say what you want, say what you can, bro. But at the end of the day, we all watched that brother get straight up whipped and beat up and, and just straight dogpiled by children, bro. Because Pennywise thrives off fear. That's literally like his power to like manifest whatever you're like most terrified of and throw that at you to make you more scared, which gives him more power, which makes him able to kill you faster. But if there's no fear, he's like Freddy Krueger, nothing. But hold on to that, right? Because if he can turn into whatever it is that you're most scared of, for the majority of people, bro, that's, that, 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 that is you, that is you, that is you. Like, I don't know, what would he turn into for me? He'd probably turn into Jaws, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I wouldn't be in water, right? Unless he, I've never seen him. Wait, yeah, he can. He can manipulate spaces. Yeah, if he somehow teleports me to the water and turns into just a regular shark, bro. Yeah, I'm finished. I'm out of here. But I just can't shake the feeling that it would be super easy to be Pennywise because literally at the end of the first movie, right? He gets jumped by kids. But at the end of the second movie, it was absolutely pitiful, bro. It was absolutely disgusting what they did to him. They basically bullied bro to death because at some point in the fight, the group gets together and they're all like, oh, well, if we're just not scared of him, if we just like, like basically, I don't know, like pretend he's like nothing, then he'll lose all of his power. And then we can just like, I don't know, jump him like we did like 15, 30 years ago. And it works, bro. They get up there. They start calling him on all types of names. They call him like, oh, your forehead is real big. Oh, your teeth is messed up. You got beat up by a group of kids in the 1960s. Hell. It's just like, how could you be afraid of Pennywise at that point? I know he really likes that clown form that he'd be taking on, but bro, he's going to have to dead that to get anybody, right? Because the second that you realize that you're going up against Pennywise, you can just immediately just like be like, oh, I'm, I'm not afraid anymore. And then boom, I'm going to give him that. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him mm, B tier, B tier, B tier. I'm just, I'm just going to choose to believe in his abilities. Like he's the master. He's the one who's been, nah, you know what? Nah, nah, see, see I just can't shake the image of him getting jumped and bullied to death bro i just can't do it do you know how sick i was when i saw that scene bro i will how many years did we wait for that movie to drop bro just for him to get done up like that i was mortified bro i told people how good the movie was gonna be and then did, i just sat there and got made a fool out of no 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 and so that's pretty much all i've got for today you know what i'm saying look look calm video look, 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 none too the hands of death could not defeat me the sisters of fate could not hold me and you will not see the end of this day i will have my revenge you will not see the end of this day no do as i say have faith in the elder gods have faith in me boy if you don't